In the world of horror cinema, few films have cast as significant a shadow as Wes Craven's groundbreaking slasher film Scream. Since its release in 1996, numerous films have taken inspiration from it, even to this day. Similar themes, storytelling techniques, and even comparable characters. While many of the films have their distinct elements, the similarities between them are hard to ignore. However, what happens when a movie comes so close to another that it almost seems like a copy? These striking resemblances have made fans wonder, are these films merely a tribute or a blatant ripoff of Scream? Grab your popcorn folks as we delve into 5 horror films that were inspired by Scream that you may not have, or probably, heard of. Lover's Lane The 2000 horror film Lover's Lane shares an uncanny resemblance in their plot, character profiles, and unforgettable scenes. Just like in Scream, the supporting characters in Lover's Lane comprise of friends who unfortunately become the murderer's targets, slowly diminishing in numbers as the film progresses. There are blatant similarities in the character composition that raises eyebrows and draws attentions to the undiluted inspiration Lover's Lane derived from its cinematic precursor. It's almost as if the creators of the film held up a mirror to Scream's characters and reflected them onto their canvas, sprinkling in minor changes here and there, with incorporating in the urban legend of the man with a hook. As the town is gripped by fear, a group of teenagers becomes the central focus of the story. They find themselves in the crosshairs of a relentless killer as they try to navigate the prom festivities while avoiding the deadly threat. The climax of the film sure is a common setting like the other films on this list and Scream, a house, the stage for the final face-off. Our protagonists grapple to reveal the identity of the killer who then reveals their shocking past and how it intertwines to the past murder of a parent. Cherry Falls Released four years after Scream, Cherry Falls found its place in the horror genre. This 2000 thriller catapulted audiences into the heart of a small town. Cherry Falls, where a sadistic serial killer had taken to hunting innocent teenagers. What made this film stand out was the surprising twist. The killer was after virgins. Four teenagers have been killed, a fifth viciously attacked. All victims appeared to be virgins. Completely upending the classic trope of promiscuous teens facing their untimely demise in horror films. Cherry Falls' incorporation of the Who Done It theme isn't the only tip of the hat to scream. The tongue-in-cheek approach to horror, the clever subversion of horror tropes, and the reliance on high school drama are all scream hallmarks that Cherry Falls borrows. Both films introduce an array of characters, making it challenging to pinpoint who could be behind the terrifying murders, thereby cranking up the tension with every passing moment. This clever plot device keeps audiences guessing, ensuring their investment in the narrative until the very end. Unraveling the mystery becomes a shared journey between the audience and the characters, making every twist and turn all the more captivating. In the shocking conclusion of Cherry Falls, the film's antagonist reveals his motives and how they tie to the final girl of the film, taking the elements of both Scream and Scream 3 and tossing it in to wrap this one up. 
You better come, come on. This is my post. I can't just split. Don't you want your first time to be something beautiful, something romantic? <laughs> I'm coming to kill you. <laughs> not if I find you first. Why's the phone ringing? It's probably nothing. We get disconnected. Did you hear something? Dead Tone. Dive into the captivating narratives of both Scream and Dead Tone, and you'll be struck by their eerie similarities. The two cinematic tales focus on a band of unsuspecting college friends who find themselves at the mercy of a relentless and mysterious killer. How does this nightmare begin, you may be asking? A seemingly innocent prank phone call game. What starts as fun and laughter quickly devolves into terror. Just like dominoes falling, their friends are gruesomely hunted down one after the other. Whether it's the creepy calls in the dead of night or the shadowy figure that always is a step behind, the phone, typically a device for communication and connection, becomes an instrument of horror in dead tone, just as it did in Scream. The film doesn't just borrow this concept from Scream, it makes it a recurrent theme throughout the movie. When it comes to the dramatic culmination of the film, you can't help but notice the nail-biting parallels to Scream. Both flicks build up a tension-laden showdown that pits the unsuspecting protagonist against an eccentric killer. Each encounter brimming with raw suspense, sudden betrayals, and the shocking unmasking of the murderer with... A connected backstory. <laughs> for years, Bollywood has been criticized for its alleged lack of originality often accused of copying storylines, music, and even entire scenes from Hollywood films. We talked about this last year with the Evil Dead copycat film, Bakazara. Now, nearly two decades after Scream released, Bollywood launched its horror flick in 2013, seemingly trying to emulate Scream's triumph. The film weaves a tale of eerie phone calls leading up to blood-curdling events where college students who find themselves on a nightmarish end of a masked assailant's vendetta. As the body count rises, the veil lifts off the students' closely guarded secrets, unraveling a twisted plot of intertwined relationships, betrayal, and vengeance. Shh. Features a similar opening scene to Scream where a faceless killer engages his victim in a terrifying phone call. Not only is the opening scene and much of the story ripped from screen, but so is the iconic mask of Ghostface. This infamous symbol of horror appears to have influenced the design of the mask and sh with some modifications that align with the Indian cultural symbolism. Sh culminates in a shocking reveal of who is behind the mask along with a monologue of motives that tie back to past events and yet another tragic family story to where the seeds for the killer's vengeance was sowed. Founders Day. As the slasher subgenre grows in popularity, history is bound to repeat itself in the genre like it did in the 80s. Just off the slasher horror movie assembly line is Founders Day. Set in a quaint little town, 
The film follows a mass maniac celebrating the town's founding day with a horrific murdering rampage. Only Founders Day swaps out Scream's meta approach that took horror movie norms and turned them up on their head, all while acknowledging and poking fun at them. Founders Day, on the other hand, toes the line between political satire and its scares. The common thread in slasher films is that the story is typically set around a cluster of terrified teams attempting to stay alive amidst the bloody chaos that ensues in their otherwise peaceful town. There's a lot of rumors going around. What happened that night? Let's all stay close to home. Don't let your children out. Stay safe. In Founders Day, the motives recreate the whodunit aspect of the film up until its painful climax where it's packed with betrayals, double crosses, and a closing monologue fit for the ending of a Scream film, only this one is more of an eye roll than Scream 6 was. Aside from some plot holes and poorly worded dialogue ramblings, one of the glaring issues with Founders Day is not so much that it is yet another film that steals or borrows from Scream's blueprint. No, 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 no. It tries to outdo Scream in its finale, but falls completely flat. Right now, he's dangerous! So what are some of the other inspired films that are out there? Let me know by dropping it on the list. Don't say I know what you did last summer because that was written before Scream, just in case you didn't know. Also if you're enjoying this content, drop a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You don't have to click the notification bell because guess what, we'll be in your subscription feed and you can always catch up with us whenever you want and as always thank you very much for tuning in for another episode thank you thank you thank you and until the next see ya